Hello Booktube, it's Ben here from the History Fellow Channel. Um, first of all, I'm going to do a book review today, and it's The Boy Soldiers of the Great War, and it's written by Richard Van Emden, and it's quite a decent, chunky book as well. Right, before but before we go on for that, I hope everybody's doing well, everyone and their families are fit and healthy, and you're all having a good time. Um, especially now that spring has sprung and the sun is out for a change. Um, I would like to welcome and thank all the... I've had some recent new subscribers to the channel. Um, you're more than welcome. Um, it's really very good to see the channel growing a little bit. Um, can I just say to everyone, I'm up to about 190 subscribers. And it'd be nice to get to the 200 mark. Um, and obviously at the 200 mark, I'll see if I can do some sort of Q&A session or something else, whatever I can kind of think of. So um, please feel free to share the channel or the videos with any friends or any history buffs or book buffs. Um, everyone's more than welcome to join. And if you like, um, make sure you subscribe by clicking on the bottom or the icon in the corner of the screen. And as you might as well um, click on the thumbs up button as well, because you're bound to enjoy this video anyway. Anyway, but back to the book review. Like I said, it's The Boy Soldiers of the Great War, written by Richard Van Emden. Um, it's published by Pen and Sword Books, uh, priced at £25 or $49.95 US dollars. Um, I will leave a link to the book um, bl uh, below this video as well. And the book is about 460 pages long, so um, it's a decent read and it's a really good read. Um, basically, as the title says, it's about... Um, boy soldiers um, that served for Britain or in the British Army during the Great War and back then um, as the book explains there was kind of like a beginning limit to you know where you could join, sign up to the army of the various regiments and that was about 16, 17 but um, let's just say some young men or boys you know kind of conned their way in or didn't give all the truth uh, tr or the truth um, or the right information and so that way they were getting in um, some were even disguising themselves to make themselves look older and then of course on the odd occasion you'd have the various um, recruiting sergeants that um, let's just say weren't too fussed about who they recruited and they were letting them in knowing full well that they were underage. So it looks at um, various boys and characters um, that were then all shipped over to France and they served in various regiments and of course they spent most of the time um, having to live in trenches uh, under constant gunfire and missiles and that sort of thing. And, it, and the, what the book does, it looks at um, where these boys came from and what their background were, was, um, whether they were from poor families, middle class, or even on the very odd occasion, upper class. And it, it looks at why boys were wanting to join, I mean, somewhere as young as 13, 14 or even 15 when they joined up and you know it looks at uh, why they would want to join up at such a young age and couldn't considering the first world war was one of the bloodiest wars there's ever been um, it's just a, a horrific thing to want to be a part of but um it look it looks at the reasons why because you've got things like um turns out it was you know peer pressure patriotism um uh, you know their mates or people from their class when they were at school were signing up and they were getting in that way there's the, the excitement um 
of course you go into war and you might not have heard what was actually going on but it, it would seem exciting and many young boys were um, going for the adventure really um, they thought you know oh go to war um, kill a few people do me a bit and then come home and it was all seemed very exciting yeah and um, they're all having to constantly fight and live under monotonous monotonous gunfire and shelling and missiles and just many people being killed there was um millions died during the first world war and kind of that, that kind of really summar summarizes the whole book it's looking at the characters and lives of these boy soldiers but there are many different accounts and stories and there's some brilliant ones and heart-rending ones so um but it's certainly a good look at um why people were going to war and the reasons that they, they went along so it's um a fantastic book um uh, a hard read in some places when you think these are such um young boys and young men and the horrific things that were going on but i'd certainly recommend it it's um i would say certainly a, a five out of five book rating so that's richard van emden's boy soldiers of the great war uh published by pen and sword books priced at 25 pounds or 49 dollars a really good read certainly follow the link and if you're into world war one history um, I, i'd highly recommend it as a good read i shall leave a link below this video um to the pen and sword website where you can order it online so pe please feel free to do so and i shall see you next time uh, thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't or click the like button for this video and everybody please take care.